Thank you for agreeing to meet with me. Perhaps you have already guessed what I wish to discuss. The word Capitale does not mean anything to you? Huh. For some time now, the organization that I represent has been using a unique system of exchange for our more sensitive business dealings. This we call Capitale. Private bonds with their value guaranteed by the reputation and considerable resources of my employer. It's a more, uh, civilized way of doing things. Until every cutthroat and gutter trash got their filthy hands on them. It cannot be allowed to continue. The value of Capitale depends on a certain exclusivity. Understand? Come. I don't know how much you have heard of our ambitious new senator, Anton Ricard. He's an officious, naive man who has yet to learn how politics work. ...about his grand plans to make Lemoyne the star of the next year's state fair in Sacramento. He has also been making life very difficult for us. Come on. Ah, excuse me for a moment. Oh, forgive me, Signor. I thought we'd be meeting alone. Who is this? He was just arrested by one of my men in the old quarter. I thought you might be interested to see what they found in his possession. How did you come by this? You stole it, yes? No, no. Please, Senor, Senor Martelli. Do not speak I, my name, I, Porco. I found it. I swear to you, I on did. On your knees. I did. I found it. I did. On your knees. I swear to you. No, no, please. I, Where did you steal it? No, I, I promise you that I didn't steal it. I will ask you only one more time. Where did you steal it? R from some of the Cornwalls, boys. Le Leviticus Cornwall. Thank you, Chief. I trust this man will face the full penalty of the law. Most assuredly, Signor. Good. Proceed. Was there, uh, anything else? No, I think that was enough, don't you? Yes, sir. So, to my proposition. You will find bills like that one as far from here as New Austin, if you know where to look. I need every piece of Capitale taken out of circulation and returned to me. I warn you, some of this work will require a strong constitution. In return, I will reward you with a unique business opportunity involving our friend, Senator Ricard. But that is for later. I wish to see the quality of your work before I reveal my hand. I'm sure you understand. Now, it is best we do not meet again. All further communication will be through my intermediaries. Some of them are friends of yours already. I believe Mr. Foreman, Mr. Langton. In any case, bring them enough capitale to impress me, and I assure you, it will be worth your while. Now, if you excuse me, buona caccia. Other stores cannot compete with my prices. I don't buy... Got some new jobs lined up. Capital laid too, if you're lucky. Got wind of some work needs doing. Might even find some Capitale along the way. How rich you gotta be to invent a whole other way of being rich. These Italian boys are something else. Risky business these days getting from one place to another. And certain kinds of people got more to lose than others. I ain't talking no legitimate businessmen, neither. I'm talking common crooks on the lamb. Running from old John Law on account of the dollars they stole. And running from Signor Martelli on account of the Capitale. Now I leave the law to handle their own affairs. As for the rest, that's where you catch up to them. Good hunting.
Braithwaite's. Just take it. Help! Help! Thanks. Bird told me about some lucrative opportunities. Might involve capital, eh, too? Jeb Phelps. You ever heard of him? Old time crook. I used to run with him once. He stabbed my back, I stabbed his, no hard feelings. Seems my old friend is up to his neck in it. Him and his gang been sitting on a whole bunch of capital, eh? That was mistake number one. Mistake number two, he let the rest of his gang turn him in in exchange for a full pardon and a stack of bills. I suggest you find Jeb. Play the Good Samaritan. Won't be long before he takes you to what you need. I don't believe we met, but I am a big admirer of your work. Uh, how about you give me...
Let me tell you this. There's some more of them double-crossing sons of bitches out there. And they got a hell of a stash. Money? And things worth more than money. You stick with me, we'll find it. Well, we got a row of the future ahead, me and you, my friend. Maybe some Capitale to find. Got a new job. Capitale involved, too. How you getting on with Jeb Phelps? Kindred spirits? Ain't often you find one of those in this world. Better treat him right. For now. How about we offer him a gift? One of his old gang. Trust up and helpless as the day he's born. Then Jeb can have his way with him at his leisure. Find out where that old stash of theirs is. Feller up at Butcher Creek ought to fit that bill. Get his attention. And get him to Jeb in one piece or thereabouts. And, and we'll forget all about it. Don't do this. The man is a goddamn maniac. is gonna stick you in the guts as soon as it'll earn him one cent. You 
got any idea what that man is gonna do to me? Please! Some work just came in. Might be some capitali too. New jobs just in. Probably get some capitali along the way. There's this book my mentor's always quoting. It came to mind just the other day when I was out in the trail. Anyway, this bit. Yeah, it's something like... America can be found... No, wait, that's not it. It's, uh... The real America cannot be found... No. Ah, shy. Ugh. Anyway, he talks about the purity of the landscape, right? The purity. Always stuck with me, that. And it came to mind when I was on this trail. Saw this camp of fellas. My goodness, what a bunch. Half a toot between them. Drunk, fighting, arguing, you name it. And I thought... There's purity for you. <laughs> what a load of shit. Anyway, it's what they were scrapping over that's of interest. Money, yes, but capitali too. Should be easy pickings. I'm sure the place will have a damn sight more purity when you're through. <laughs>